everybody. How y'all doing? This is Carla Wynix with today's inspiration. And as always, I'm here to encourage you and to remind you that you can live every day on purpose. I had a wonderful weekend. Um, my husband and I went back to New Orleans uh, as we celebrated his birthday. He wanted to spend the weekend in New Orleans, and I'm glad that we went back. You know, New Orleans is home. Um, I uh, hesitated for a moment, though, because every time I go back, every time I go back home, I leave sad. And um, uh, we've been away since Katrina. We are one of the, you know, families that lost everything, just like so many others. Um, but we're thankful that we were unharmed and we all have our lives. So we're very grateful for that. But when I go back, it's because the area, um, you know, it's coming back, but it's still so different. And um, the area where we lived in the lower night ward is still devastated and some have come back but it's it's just it's not the same it's just a devastation and I used to leave away every time the the few times I'm saying a few times because I haven't gone back many times feeling just just a sadness in my soul um but this time you know we went back and one good thing is that it wasn't for a funeral. We've been back for a couple of funerals. And, you know, this time we were there for some fun, for he and I to get away and have a nice uh, relaxing weekend with just us. And we did. It was beautiful. It was romantic. Um, I, you know, Jerry is my best friend. Yes, my, I married my best friend. And we've been married for, um, what, 34 years now. And... Uh, I'm sorry, 33 years. <laughs> and although he's my best friend now, way back then, he was my friend. But as time went on, you know, the longer we've been married, the the closer we've gotten. And, you know, you can always grow. You can still grow. And we have. And we become, after all that we've been through, totally best friends. It was a great weekend, though. I'm, I'm happy this time that we went back. And I refused to leave feeling depressed because it was wonderful. We went back to our home church as well, which is which is in the devastated area where we live. And I thank God for how he revived the church. He re, um, blessed our pastor and the membership to have the church re, re um, what should I say? Well, it was remodeled also. It's a brand new church and it's beautiful and I love it. Um. So I was happy about that. We attended service and uh, Pastor Washington, he did allow us both to speak. I was surprised that he called me uh, as well. But, you know, that's a blessing. But I was at a loss for words. And that's not normal for me. <laughs> but I had to compose myself because I felt myself about to go into tears. And I didn't want to stand up there and cry. I didn't want to be in tears. I didn't want to seem weak I didn't want to you know seem crazy or whatever so I'm like that's what I was concentrating on so I spoke and I said something I can't remember what all I said because I was so like I don't know what to say but I said something and um you know that was a blessing it's it's just love our church our home church in New Orleans and the members uh, most of the members are still there and I'm thankful for that and it was also sad, though, because some, some members have recently passed, and it just didn't seem the same with, with them not there. So, you know, I had to stay composed. I didn't want to be, you know, I'm very emotional. Y'all know that. I cry at the, at, at the drop of a hat. I really do. But um, that was, you know, that was an amazing experience. And uh, we had we had dinner on Saturday night at our favorite restaurant. Jack Dempsey's on Poland Avenue. And we were happy and blessed um, that my cousin Bridget and her son, her, her baby son, came to join us. Um, and they live right around the corner. Not right around, but a few blocks away from the restaurant. Um, but I love my cousin. And 
She's the sister I never had. My baby sister, I call her. Uh, we had a wonderful talk and, and just everything was beautiful. I thank God for the experience. Um, home it will always be home. And I get homesick quite a bit. I really do. But, you know, I don't question and I don't, I don't um, regret that we chose not to move back to live. Um, I'm thankful for all the memories I have. I'm thankful uh, of all of the family that I've, you know, grown to know, grew up with, and what have you. Um, most are have not returned. Um, Bridget did. My sister-in-law and brother-in-law, they did. Um, I have a cousin who's gone back, another cousin, uh, Cheryl. And other than that, um, most everybody is gone, so it still is not the same. Um, but um, still, you know, that's the past. I think what I miss most, as opposed to the place, I miss I miss the memories. New messages received from Nene. Andrew. I miss my family. I think that's the biggest thing. Because as I told my immediate family, our kids, you know, when we decided not to go, not to go back, you know, I told them, and I, I mean it, I said, no matter where we go, you know, we're together, we're at home. We're family. As long as we're together, we're at home. And I, you know, um, that's true. That's true. So, but I thank God for allowing us to go. And again, affirming that it's okay that we did not return because that wasn't, we know where God, that he directed us here. Uh, I was reading something the other day and it's true. Sometimes things happen to push you to where you need to be because otherwise, if you weren't forced, forced to go, you wouldn't be there. But um, that's about it for today. I thank you and I just pray that you always look forward and if you made a choice, you know, don't, and, and you and you know you're doing the right thing. Don't keep uh, second guessing yourself. Look forward. You could think back, but look forward. God bless you. Have a great day. This is Carla Wynix with today's inspiration.